been probably three weeks since I put the paint down on this card. Um, lots happened since then. Um, we had a big snowstorm, lost electricity for a while, uh, lost internet for a while. Um, I got sick for a week, and then as soon as I got sick, I pulled muscle in my back. So this paint's had plenty of time to dry. <laughs> um, but in that time, a couple things um, I thought about is I don't think that this alone is a good test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple more cards. Um, one's going to be just paint on it with that I airbrush on. Another one's going to be primer and then painted. Um, and I'm also going to make a couple different little um, pieces that I'm going to paint black, um, just for showing fine detail. Um, and that way I can move it over the card and you can see if there's how much reflectivity there is. Um, and just today, I discovered that on Kickstarter, um, that Black 3 by Stuart Simple is up there and you can back it and it'll be out in a few months. Um, I don't get paid. I'm, I don't, I'm just doing this because I think it's interesting. But I was browsing Kickstarter, I'm like, there's the Black 3.0. Um, new, new, even blacker black than this. Um, so I'm going to probably pick that one up too. <laughs> um, but it'll probably be a, a while before I get it. But I'll do a review, a side by side review on that too um, when I get that. Um, anyways, I'm going to do a little primering and uh, get some stuff ready for paint. Um, so let's get it moving. All right, so I got three subject matters. I got a little penguin puffer guy. I got a piece of tank track. It's got a lot of detail in it. And this is a little uh, robot um, guy I was kit bashing together. Um, I just thought I'd paint it because I decided to go a different route and still had it sitting around. So let's paint them up. They're primer. Now we gotta wait. Um, just gonna wait for all those things to dry. Um, they're probably already dry, but I like to give my primer uh, a little bit longer to degas and paint. Um, just a habit I have. So I'm gonna let that go overnight and then hit it with the black. Hopefully tomorrow morning. All right, it is the next morning and uh, I'm ready to spray some black paint. Um, it's been. Uh, 12 hours at least since I put the primer down, so there's plenty of time for it to degas. Um, so let's get started. Well, I very stupidly forgot to clean my airbrush last night, so it's still got a bunch of primer in it that dried overnight. So that really sucks. I've got to clean my, um, my airbrush out now. Um, it's probably all gummed up. Um, let me show you to you real quick. I put some, uh, some thinner in it to start breaking it down, but it's going to take a while. I'll probably have to take it apart. And get it nice and cleaned out so all right there it is I've got some thinner in it right now I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit this really sucks I'm really annoyed oh well show you this back pressure make it bubble terrible. It's been better. Hard to see in there. Anyway. Time for paint. This one, I'm suspecting that I need a almost <clears throat> two to one for the paint because it's so thick. It's just unbelievably thick. Couldn't believe how much a couple drops spread out to. Um, I don't need that dry. Oh, I will need it. Ooh. 
don't know about spraying this. It's kind of splattery. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. That's... It splatters like crazy. And it's like chunky in here. Like maybe it doesn't like that thinner. I don't know. That's super weird. Okay, well spraying may not be an option. try spraying at a lower PSI see what happens. I don't think it's going to matter because the paint itself is... Ooh, that's even worse. It just doesn't want to come out. It's like super chunky. God, that's... Great. <laughs> that's not good. It won't even, like, just go through. Maybe it's still clogged. I don't know. Maybe it's my airbrush. Um, let me clean it out. I'm going to try it again. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to try um, using water because it says clean up with water. You wash brushes with water. I don't think this was actually meant for airbrushing, so I'm going to go get some water and use that to thin. Get my water. This is RODI water, so it's pretty close to pure. There goes nothing. Okay. Looks a little bit different when I squirt it in there with the water. Yeah, that's not as grainy and weird looking. very bubbly though. Hopefully it settles down. I don't want to be a bunch of bubbles. I guess the point isn't to make a super high quality paint, it's to make a super black, flat paint. So, alright. Um, let's try spraying this now. It's definitely a lot smoother. Not totally smooth. I might actually add a little bit more paint to that. This is so weird. Like, it's like it just makes bubbles. Like, it's super easy and they don't pop and go down. Strange. Weird, weird stuff. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. It's still splattery though. It already feels like it's starting to clog up my airbrush. Alright, I'm gonna get the painting because. <clears throat> just because. Yeah, this is already clogging up. my hairbrush again. And get this painting done. Not for airbrushing. FYI, if you're looking to airbrush this stuff on. It does not like it. meant to be brushed on only, or rolled on. I mean, it's just totally clogging up my airbrush again. I'm running 40 PSI here, so that ought to be, like, plenty. It just looks like... awful. <laughs> looks like he's got a 
you know, got too close to an oil spill or something. It just looks like shit. All right, well, maybe my plan won't work. <laughs> it's doing the same thing I was doing before, where I had to pull it back and forth to get it to come out. It's like it clumps up when you thin it. Doesn't matter what you thin it with. This is strange. I mean, it's a lot smoother than it was before, but... Well, I think this experiment is kind of a bust, because the only way you can do it is brush it on. So, all the things I wanted to test are not going to work out so hot. I got this piece painted, though, so... Before it clogged up. Not sure why it does that, but... <sighs> Alright, well, I'm going to... I'll still do some comparisons. I'll try to brush some on super thin um, not so thick like I did over there and uh, see what happens see if we can make a object disappear on it so now I gotta get this paint out oh boy Maybe a brush will do something different than a Q-tip. That'll be plenty. Because when I did this, I don't know if you can... Uh, does it pick that up? There's a little bit of a texture to it because I smeared it around with that Q-tip. It's definitely hard to see, but if you're holding a um, something that's totally flat up against it, you can definitely see the contrast. But if I if I angle it so it doesn't get that light, then things tend to disappear. So I want to see if it's a little bit flat and smooth. That was the point of the airbrush. So don't airbrush this stuff, by the way, because you get weird, unless that's what you want. Um, so... Actually, let me do this. I'm going to get a little bit of water. These are super crappy brushes, so I don't care if they get ruined. As a matter of fact, they have a hard difficulty staying just together in general. So, I'm just gonna push out as much water as I can there. Oh yeah, that's a lot smoother brushed, that's for sure. This definitely feels like how it was intended to be applied. Yeah. You can see the glare because it's still wet there, but it is so much flatter and smoother than this ever was. This went on, you know, it's, all, it's like ribbed. So, you can do the same thing here without primer. little test here. Um, since this has got a lot of um, little ridges and things like that, it's going to catch light. I, I don't think I totally got every little bit black because it was just splattering out, you know. Um, so um, it is interesting, like just looking through the camera. Look at that, it nearly disappears. depending on the angle. It's pretty impressive. Let me take it off of this. So, you can see it, you know, it doesn't totally dis disappear. I was hoping for something a little bit more, um, but maybe the Vanta Black, or not the Vanta Black, the uh, Black 3 that he's coming out with will, um, be even more impressive there in that regard. So it's interesting stuff. 
it's very flat. It is very black. Um, I can see where it's useful, and I think what I'm going to do actually is this is the base for my uh, my probe droid. I cut a nicer piece of wood, and it's got nice clean lines. Um, it's heavy enough that it's not going to tip over. So I think I'm just going to paint this guy black, and uh, with the with this stuff, because um, I like my displays to disappear. So I don't want people paying attention to that. I want them to look at what's on the display. So. I'm going to do that real fast. I'm going to just brush it on and see how it looks. Okay. I'm going to use my same brush, my little water dish, some water. I'm just going to do exactly what I did with the samples. I'm just going to put a drop on it and smear it around. Let's see if I can get it all over myself. So. wood is porous, it's a little bit more textured than paper sometimes, depending on how much you sand it, I guess. Gonna need more. So it's gonna soak it up a little bit better, so it may not quite go as far as it did with paper. There it is with its base. Um, it does reflect a little bit of light. Um, you know, you can see the differences between the shadow side and the, the sides that are getting light. Um, but it is very flat, very black. Um, it's pretty, pretty uh, impressively flat. So I'm interested to see what the black 3.0 will, it will do. Um, that's going to be a little while before it comes out. So probably be several months because usually I, I, most Kickstarters run behind. I've only seen a couple that have been on time or early um, and I've backed a lot of stuff on Kickstarter so um, anyway that's going to be it. Um, the black is pretty cool. Um, it's not as black uh, or at least not as um, like tricking the eye as I hoped for but it's still pretty pretty dark. Anyway, that'll be it. Bye-bye.